connected. So uh, there is no I call it the kung fu. Um, for me, it's always in the dancing, everything has to make a sense in the reason. Yeah? So every single action, that's why I always was asking questions since I was a kid, why it's so many different names in our dancing for different steps? Why do we need it? Yeah? Where normally in life we just walk forward, back, side, that's it. Right? So why do we need so many different uh, types of steps and actions and uh, all these names and uh, for what reason? But later on, you know, when you understand actually what uh, the steps are for, what the actions are for, for what reason, then actually you understand how we use them to make it more efficient. Yeah? Because otherwise, you just sometimes do the things which are not necessarily for the dance, for the character, for the movement, for different type of the movements. So, and it's really, everything in our body is related to that. So even, uh, like if you take any dance, uh, uh, dance have a different characterization. That means actually from the down to the posture, to the weight usage, to the action, everything changes. Yeah? So for example, if drama is going to be here, cha cha lower, samba, basso, cha Yeah. So we're going to change our body position according to the action which is going to be used. Yes? Uh, by the way, actually I like you know, communication. So if you have any questions, you, know, you can ask. I will ask you questions. So number one, so therefore everything for me has to have a reason. Uh, um, and what I want to speak about the relation of the action to the body to the hands, because everything in our dancing has to be com combined, yeah, it has to be as a one movement. So this is why most of the people will always work from down up, yeah, because we need to understand the steps first, and this is why there is a very clear for me definition or difference between technique, mechanic, and visual. Yeah. So the technique is what is really written in the book, yeah. and we have uh, these two rules we have, and it's about the steps, about the actions, about the timing, about the rhythm, about the directions, yeah. and amount of turn alignments. The mechanics doesn't have rules. Yeah. For me, mechanics is the way your body reacts, the technique which you understand. Yeah. So which different people, bless you. <laughs> The, uh, very often, this is why you see sometimes dancers, they use the same technique, but they look different because they use different mechanics on top of that. And it also comes to the way you understand the technique. Yeah? This is why most of the people work from a technique only. Because it's your job as a dancer as well to figure it out, actually, okay, if that's the technique, so how my body will react to that. Yeah? So this is why, and a mechanic they have no roots. Yeah, this is actually basically the experience of the dancer on the technique which they understand themselves. Okay? And then we have a visual uh, part, uh, the words which is like space, energy, dynamics, presence, presentation, atmosphere, uh, feelings. So this is, you know the words, you can understand the words, but they have no substance. You can't touch it. If the body, like technique and mechanics, is work with your own body, the muscles, the bone, you can feel it, it's your own, you can own it, you, you can feel it. Now, can you touch the air? No. Well, you can if you can imagine it. Yeah, you can show how heavy is the air or how light is the air, right? The space. So, therefore, a lot of the visual effects, yeah, created through the imagination. And this is why, you know, this is also different types of work. Yes? So therefore, the dance is always technique, mechanic, and then once you coordinate, because you need your mind you need to be free for the visual. Yeah? Because if you are constantly mind occupied with actually your coordinational parts, then forget about the visual effect, because you're not there anymore. Yes? Yeah. So therefore, the first we need to coordinate things. So therefore, on top of that comes the, the, the other work. So we, what we're going to try, we're going to try to coordinate things. And uh, we will do simple karacha, ramba, and we'll try to put the body on top of that, and we'll try to put the hands. So first of all, karacha. What is karacha, and why? Why do we need karacha? What is designed for? 
Yes, we have also rock in Tulsa site. There is also the um, crab rocks in Tulsa site. Yeah. There is many. There is a lunch to the site here. Yeah. I can point to the site as well. So therefore, there is a lot of site actions, right? So why is cooker actually? Yeah. What do we need it for? This is the point, for example, why do you need it? And why do you use it? At which point in your dancing you're going to use it? It is pressure step. I mean, even the crab walks is a pressure step. Anything is a pressure step. Yeah, you have to put the weight down. Honestly, I have no freaking idea. Never thought of why. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you. Okay. So, <laughs> it's right? in the book. It's in the book. It's in the book. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. So, this is why Karachi is designed not to transfer the weight. Yeah, and it's mostly related to the, the way we dance together in the couple. Yeah, because, like, for example, can I have you, please? Like uh, if we dance opening up, right? If I don't, if I transfer my weight, my partner have no chance to make a step. Okay? So therefore, I need to not to transfer the weight for the, my partner to be able to dance. Okay? So this is how steps work. It's very simple. It's not complicated. It's not like I think very much. Yeah? It's not uh, um, uh, deep. Yeah? It's a meaning. It's simple actually. It's not to transfer the weight. Yes? So this is why you want to settle, yeah? Because, you know, of course we need to settle and we're going to time that settle because we can make it fast or we can time the settle, yeah? That's the rama, yeah? So it's four and one and. And from there, yeah, our body already giving direction to the next step and we're going to have a two, yeah? And foot arrive and there is the pressure, yeah? Like we said, there's the pressure there, the two heels on the floor, yeah? And that's going to be two. Right, all the time. So, and you, we're not trying to move the spine, right? So, four and one and two. Yeah? So, therefore, it's going to be right under the our body because it's a step. Yeah? So, then we're going to have M3. We're going to use the action yeah, to push the weight of the hip there, yeah? not the body weight, the weight of the hip. And once the uh, weight of the hip there, we we'll push from the foot, the spine over. Yeah? And then we settle again to close the feet. Yeah. So therefore, there is a minimum transfer. Yeah, this is very, very important. Why? Because it's related at the end of the day to the uh, the girl step. Yeah, for example, in opening out or in any other steps. Yes, can we try? So we do four and one and two. Yeah, and then because you know, imagine that and three is going to be fast action. Yeah, uh, three, and we're already over the. Floor. And we're gonna settle and uh, and one and yeah, and everything is the same on the other side. And thirty push over and uh, four and one and two and thirty four and one and two and thirty and one. As you notice, that because of that, it gives you nice speed of reaction to can back yeah to put the body over the foot clear yeah so this is why that's a good yeah? can you try to music yeah
to make an action to get back faster. Yeah? So now about the action, yeah? because it's Cuban action, so it involves settle and rotation on the way out. This is why, for example, the first very big mistake, but actually you're already rotating on a way in. Yeah? The first will settle, yeah? and there is no rotation. Yeah? Because why do we need rotation? This is another. Why do we need? Why do we settle and why do we rotate? Why do we need? What's the reason for that? If we settle, we stay in place. If we rotate, we have to move somewhere, or we change the direction of the movement. No. <laughs> well, like, for example, uh, what is the check? Like, for example, we have a forward walk check. Yeah, what is it? I know how it used to dance. Not long ago. The change of direction. This is why actually we have a step to change the direction. Yeah. So therefore, it's not only rotation. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scanning. <laughs> Yeah, but good try, yeah, good try. So we settle, of course, to put the weight down, yeah? because, for example, once you put the weight down, you can move, right? If you don't put the weight down, you fall. Yes? Simple. Again, it's very simple. We need to put the weight down to push, yeah? because this is why, uh, as well, if you notice, like, all the sport cars, they're very low, right? Why? To create this thing. So therefore, the more faster you want to go, the more weight you need to push to the legs, actually, to push yourself out. Yeah? Because once you have a weight there, then you can drive. Yeah? If you have no weight on the legs, if you're too up high, you fall. Yeah? So rotation, why do we need the rotation? Rotation initiates the body to give a direction to your next move. Yeah? So if I settle, and now once you're rotated, that's a give direction of my body to the next move. Yeah? The same. So therefore, every time we rotate, is to give a direction to the body, to the direction of the movement. Okay? Yes. Sure? This is why when we do the first action, we settle, yeah? Place a step. And now, for example, the rotation will give a direction to the body towards the next, and the same here, right? And now we just settle. Yeah? And now again, to give it a direction, towards the next movement. So this is how a body reacts on the technique which I understand. That, that's already mechanics. Clear? Yes? Plus, the mechanics always works in opposition to the action. Yeah? It's, well, never say never, yeah? But very rarely, it's, of course, we have exemptions to, from everything, but most of the time, the action, uh, the body always works against the action of your weight change. Yeah? So if I, for example, settle to the left, my body going to go to the right. If I'm going to settle to the right, my body goes to the left. Why? Searching for balance. Hmm? Because it's balancing it out. Absolutely. Because what is balance? Hmm? Yeah, it's opposition. Opposition creates the balance. This is why human works like that. Yeah? We're, not, we're not penguins. Yeah? So this is why, for example, because when we walk on a normal life, we're balancing through the hands. And this one I'm coming to. Why do we need the hands in dancing? For the presentation, to show off. I use my hands to present actually what I'm doing. Yeah? So of course, for example, if my hands are doing Kung Fu style, right? I'm not presenting it. Yes? I'm not saying it has to be static. It's again a choice. Yeah? It depends on the woman and the man and the characterization of the movement. But for example, what I'm aiming to now, actually how the hands are working. I just want to show you the basic movement of the hands and how does it connect to all the action we use. But first of all, we'll start again. Steps? Yes. Is there ever a time where you're not settling or rotating? Or are you always doing one or the other? Like, are you always doing one to the next step? Or is there ever a period where you're still? Well, if I don't move, I, I don't do anything. Do, do I need the action if I don't move? Like for example, if I do a chai chai, I do that action. Yeah? I don't transfer the weight, the fact that I, well, I'm not moving, I'm transferring the fact I'm not moving anywhere. Right. Do I need rotation? No. Yeah, <coughs> no, okay. yeah makes sense? Yeah, so for example, we, every time we use the rotation when we actually need to go somewhere, right? If we don't go anywhere, do we need rotation? No. That is why if you do make a lunge, you don't rotate. Yeah. Clear? Yeah. Make sense? Yeah. Good. 
So therefore, for example, try not to over-rotate on the beginning of the steps, yeah? So try to rotate only when you get out of the step, yeah? To get out of it, yeah? And then again, for example, we'll settle, yeah? And then I will rotate to get out of it. Yeah? And again, settle, play the foot, and then rotate out of it, yeah? And again, settle, rotate. So it always works. Settle, rotate, move. Settle, rotate, move. Settle, rotate, move. Yeah. Clear? Yeah. Yes. So the body will work in opposition to that action. Yeah? So for example, therefore, every time if I'm settling, yeah, that's counterbalancing myself. Yeah? So after I will rotate, of course, the body will react to that rotation. And you need to spend time to coordinate that. Again, the same. Yeah. Yeah. Also, one, 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 I'm closing the data. I'm opening the center to create the space for my legs. So, of course, my body is going to be opposite. Yeah. And then I will reuse it to set up again. Yes? Yeah. Good. Yeah. So, now the hands. Yeah? Now the hands. Now we're leaving this off. Yeah? We're going to try to combine it. Now the hands. So there is a basic movement for the hands. Of course, the hands can work in different uh, ways, especially, it's especially in characterization of the man and the woman. Because what you have to, uh, not to forget, in dancing, when we dance in a couple, the man presenting not himself only, he presents himself, the partner, and the couple. Yeah? The woman presents herself. So therefore, for example, men's hand this why is mostly presenting actually the space of two of us, yeah? So I'm not just alone, where the girl can be whatever, right? So therefore, the variety of the movement hands is much more bigger than the men's, yeah? So for example, the basic movement of the hands. Um, first of all, the hands, if you imagine, you start not from the shoulder, but from, from the back of the blade. So every time you want to open the hand, the first, yeah, the body have to initiate that movement. And then the hand move to the side. The hands it's always move this way. Yeah? So the shoulder at the highest point, then the elbow, then the wrist, knuckles, fingers. Therefore, the smooth line is not broken. Yeah? So we come to that moment. And every time the first uh, uh, thing, if you imagine how the bird opens the wings, if you have imagination, yeah? if the bird opens the wings, so we start from the back. Yeah? Therefore, we use one hand. Yeah? And you can, if you can mirror me. Then, for example, we move the hand with the wrist, yeah? and we move it forward, all the way straight to that point. Now I'm going to look what time is it now. Yeah? So we keep the elbow up, yeah? so we're not doing that. Yeah? Keep the elbow up. Now what we do, we put the elbow down yeah? across the body, and that's the next movement will show how beautiful we are. So one more time, forward. The wrist, the wrist forward. Try not to rotate the body. Just move the hand. Oh, we're going to coordinate it first. Elbow. Yeah. Uh, we look. What time is it now? Relax the wrist. Yeah. Uh, should be three. And then uh, elbow down. And a big movement. Oh yeah. yeah. The hands are always in front of our body. Yeah. It's not behind. It's only in front of behind. So other hands in front of the body. Not so much. But you know, try to present. Yeah, because again, through the hands we present the action. Yeah? So all the movement. Beautiful. Okay. Team, team, team. And four. Yeah, so it's done. One, two, three, four. Yeah? And all the time. One, two, three, four. Try not to bend too early, so it's not, yeah? you all the way. The bigger the movement, the better. Yeah? Because of course, when the movement is faster, yeah? it has a big you know? yeah? Just in front of you. Yeah? You can write the, the other hand. Yeah? So the same here, forward, all the way straight in front of you. You bend the elbow, yeah? again, try to keep the elbow up. Then drop the elbow down, yeah? And we'll show how beautiful we are. Very good. 
and we're going to start together with the action. Okay? And now uh, two. And a very. And a four. And a one. And. One more time. Two. And a very. Dance Today continues to create entertaining and educational content because of the contributions from viewers like you. If you would like to donate to the channel, please click on the Patreon link in the description below. Thank you for your support. <laughs> 